today's dish of uh, garbanthos is uh, a homage to my really, really good friends Ian and his mum Rose. Uh, and it was a long, long time ago I learned this dish off Rose and uh, I've adapted it, of course, to my own taste and I hope you like it. Okay, garbanthos. Um, it's spicy pork and chickpea uh, dish uh, from Spain. Um, my way. <laughs> Right, ingredients. Uh, the first thing you'll need, you'll need about 600 grams of uh, pork. I'm using pork shoulder. Uh, you can use belly pork, but it is a little bit fatty and you probably have to fry it and drain it first. Uh, but um, I'm using pork shoulder in this and it is perfectly good for this dish. Um, um, there's also a, a chorizo. It's around about 200 grams of chorizo. This one's a spicy chorizo sausage and it was the complete link uh, of chorizo and as you see like everything else in this dish it's cut into nice big chunky peasanty pieces um, moving on from those uh, we have some uh, half uh, a medium sized onion chopped up uh, we've got around about half a cup of uh, chopped uh, red pepper again chunkily cut we have about um, say about a cup and a half maybe two cups of chopped up potato and I'm using waxy potatoes for this um, the, the chickpeas give a, a nice texture as well but the waxy potatoes just lend another texture element to this dish um, there's a little bit of chopped up uh, about a, uh, I'd say about a half a cup of chopped up uh, carrot and celery they just give a, 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 another layer of depth of flavour to the dish and there's about two cloves of garlic chopped up and in this um, <laughs> Chinese spoon here is um, some rich red sweet paprika all right uh, that's the one you need for this dish you need and the best uh, of course for this dish would be Spanish paprika okay um, the chickpeas there are two uh, around about two 400 gram uh, cans standard cans of chickpeas and it's it's just a standard can of chickpeas and the tomatoes again uh, it's um, a, again a 400 gram can of tomatoes um, they were whole tomatoes but I've just chopped them up into chunks around about the size of the uh, the rest of it so as you see, it's going to be a pretty wholesome dish. This would easily feed four people. Okay, the next time you see me, we'll be over by the cooker and we'll be cooking it because it's really simple. All right, we're bringing the pan up to heat again. Uh, ready, and in goes in the bottom. You need to cover the bottom roughly with uh, olive oil and that's about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. And we get that up to heat. And I've also brought Spoonzilla back. Say hello to Spoonzilla. And one of the things I left out the ingredients was um, I left out the stock. And what we use here, uh, I use three cups of uh, stock. Um, and what I've done is because I've got no pork stock, I use half and half beef and chicken stock, which gives a similar sort of flavor. So once that's up to heat, let's get the meat in there. Good strike heat so the meat starts to cook straight away. Get a turn on that and keep it turning. The good thing about Spoonzilla is you see less of my arm and more of the um, more of the actual cooking process. So we get that in and Get that stirring around for a bit. You need this on a high heat to start with. We can always turn it down later, but we need this on a high heat to get the meal, get some seal on the meat. I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, that's looking good. It's got seal on the meat. And the bottom of the pan is starting to catch ever so slightly there. And then don't waste time, just get the whole lot of this in. So that's all your veg. Give it a stir. Uh, 
told you it was easy. And then the next thing in is you need your chorizo going in there, in with the chorizo. Don't need that bit out. You should smell this, guys. Oh man, you should smell this. Fabulous. Right, in with the chorizo. Now in with the rest. In with the paprika powder. In with the garbanzo beans, in with the chickpeas. Because this dish wouldn't be called garbanzos without it. And give that a stir. Oh, that smell of that paprika is just awesome. <laughs> oh dear. You guys, you're going to love this. In with the tomatoes. Waste not, want not. Get the best of it out. That's it. It's all flavour. Don't leave it out. And last but not least, in goes your stock. So there's three cups of uh, pork stock if you can, and if not, just do a mixture of beef and chicken stock. Half and half. About three three cups. Uh, if you're using stock cubes, it's one one cup or uh, one um, one stock cube of each. Chicken and beef. Um, or better still, if you've got add your own pork bone and cook down some stock. Superb. And as you see, that's perfectly enough. It comes up perfectly uh, to the top. Now all we do is we turn down the heat. Um, sorry, we bring that to the boil first. Um, to a rolling ball and then turn down the heat to a simmer and then just leave it for about uh, about 40 minutes to an hour. I don't know if you've ever cooked with chorizo before this beautiful uh, rich Spanish sausage um, but it, it gives you a lot a lot of bang for your buck you know it, it gives you a lot a lot of flavour for, for very little investment in terms of cash um, it's a wonderful wonderful sausage it really is Okay, so we cover that up now, and uh, we'll come back to it round about the time it's ready to serve. Okay, now it's been going about 40 minutes, um, and it's cooked right through. You can see it's cooked through. Uh, the only thing is I want it a little bit thicker. So there is a technique for this, and that is you can, what you do is you get a few chickpeas out and you mash them. So I'm using two spoons to do that and just, just get a few out, mash them, and then put them back in. And then you repeat that until it starts to thicken a bit. Um, I, I don't want to use any other kind of thickeners in this. Um, it's really because you don't, A, because you don't need to, and, and B, because I don't want to change the flavor and texture of it too much. So there we go. The next thing you will see is that on a plate. Okay, here we are, I've served it up. There you go, I've served it up with some of the uh, Fiesta rice. Um, the recipe for that is also on my channel, so look it up. And I've served it in a bowl, because that's the way I am. <laughs> I'm gonna take this away now, if you excuse me, and eat it, because I am hungry. Mm -hmm.